Hello everyone, so today I am going to show you how to lower your AMD mobile chip temperatures and have a cooler laptop while gaming. So let's get started. In this video, I am going to use my Asus Stuff A15 which you can see right there. And the reason why I am doing this is some of you may have heard that the Asus Stuff A15 has bad and poor thermals and has a, have a bad display. So you can check out my previous content which can be linked right here and you can see that I have made a lot of content regarding why the, you shouldn't be worrying about the display or why I made the buying decision for this laptop and why I, the thermals are not as bad uh, as people think and uh, to be honest they are completely fine and in line with all the other CPU temperatures that are CPU and GPU temperatures that are in other gaming laptops in this price range. So the question arises, how am I going to do this? So the answer is Ryzen controller utility. And it's a simple open source GUI based utility where you can easily modify many of the AMD mobile chips parameters like the TDP, like uh, short power boost and long power boost and most importantly, the temperature limit. So the reason why Ryzen or AR, sorry, AMD is not providing this utility by themselves is because there are so many laptop designs out there and they cannot ensure that the utility works good on in, in all the parameters and the settings that are provided. So this is an open source utility which works very well by the way and which can alter your CPU's parameters like uh, the XTU does for Intel based chips. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Starting with the actual configuration of utility, first we'll switch to dark mode because frankly everyone should. And now we'll there are multiple things that we can change, like uh, the temperature the CPU can reach before the boost levels of CPU TDP, long boost duration, and there are so many parameters that uh, I won't bore you with each and every one of them while explaining. So uh, that's why I'll just go to temperature limit and it is already preset to 85 and just click apply and as you can see the Ryzen register has been executed successfully that means that uh, your CPU should now automatically limit itself when it reaches 85 degrees and if we go to settings then uh, there is an option that we can enable so that the Ryzen controller starts on every boot and uh, this setting is particularly very interesting reapply periodically Actually, what happens is like uh, sometimes the BIOS can uh, reset what uh, Ryzen it just is trying to. So we can input a value here and for example, like I'll input 180 seconds. And what it will do is that Ryzen controller will apply the 85 degree setting that we have applied and also other settings if we select and it will apply it after every 180 seconds so that uh, if there are some laptops in which the BIOS resets the settings automatically. So this is to circumvent that and that's it. And now you can enjoy a lower temperatures on your CPU. And for monitoring, I use an app called Hardware Info and thus you can check if uh, the utility is working or not. So many of you might be thinking that why should we throw away performance that we have paid for by limiting our CPU chips. The answer is that when you are gaming, your CPU won't be utilized nearly close to its limits because when it is paired with a very particularly weak chip like uh, 1650. For example, the 4600H has 6 cores and 12 threads. It can probably handle even RTX 2060's performance and still the games won't be bottlenecked. So, uh, and while you're gaming, the CPU will be utilized up to what, like 30-40% usage. So even if we throw about 5-7% to performance at max, which you will see in the benchmarks right uh, after this section, that uh, it won't be even that much. So you can limit your chip in a slight way by the Ryzen controller utility and still not notice any difference. Again, we'll be referring this in the benchmarks of Shadow of the Tomb Raider and Cinebench. So you don't need to worry about this and also the frame times matters or a consistent FPS matters in games. Like uh, you don't want that uh, your game should dip, uh, you should rise to 80 and then uh, it up to 60 when thermal throttling is occurred. 
so a consistent clock speeds and temperature will also result in your gpu boosting higher because nvidia chips boost higher and overclock themselves automatically when a thermal headroom is available and if your cpu is generating less heat so the gpu can boost as well up to a higher limit so that's why you not need to worry that we are limiting any our performance in any way When you look at both the results that before Ryzen controller utility and after Ryzen controller utility after applying an 85 degree max temperature limit the cinnamon scores have dipped to like uh, 5 to 6% and the shadow of the tomb raider benchmarks remains the same but we are encountering lower temperatures on our CPU and also of our GPU and please note that uh, the temperatures were not bad to be begin with in the first place but if you want a more uh, safer temperature like uh, a more chiller cpu then you can always do that and it's a one click utility you don't uh, need to worry about changing it at every boot and uh, like that now in intel based chips you might have heard of uh, undervolting on the laptop side of chips and undervolting is basically limiting your the voltage that is given to your cpu and produces the same result as we are talking about ryzen controller right here and but the difference is that in intel based chips that we lower the voltage and that results in a lower temperature while in ryzen controller utility we are limiting the temperature or the core temperature that is of the cpu and thus it will also work in the same way but it will be a lot more easier like uh, in, in the undervolting video that we made which you can check out in the pop up banner we limited voltage and then we had to run a stress test and then we we have to do it over and over again with a different set of voltages that so that uh, we may determine a specific value that is for our processor and that took a lot of time and lot of effort and you will also encounter blue screen of death if you lower the voltage too much but uh, nothing is nothing that complicated is included right here you just change the slider set a temperature limit like for example i have set it to 85 degrees and it's all good so here's my ryzen controller video and how you can limit uh, temperatures in your amd notebook and if you have any questions then sure do ask us in the comment i have made a lot of a15 content in the past like almost four videos now and planning to make six to seven more and if you see our previous videos and in the comment section that we have replied to every comment that we have received so uh, you can surely ask your question in the comments and join us on telegram which and our community on telegram is over 150 members now so that's a big feat for us and if you like our video then you can subscribe for more content see you again next time